If you're looking to downsize, then it's time to say goodbye to the boring brick-built bungalow and welcome a new, modern, warm and very stylish alternative. While son Shane extends his house, he's also having a granny annex built at the end of the garden for mum. But she's banking on the annex not being the only new addition to her life. Can't wait for the grandchildren. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll <laughs> When they actually come out to view the site for the, the annex, they actually said they'd done extensions as well. I tried to push for both projects at the same time. It all gets done within like four weeks. So the family are building a 48 square metre cedar clad one bedroom annex at the bottom of the garden, supplied by Bedfordshire based kit company Granny Annex. At the same time, a single storey flat pack extension will be built onto the main house, adding a valuable extra 14 square metres. We chose this company because of it's just a turnkey service basically and it, it does everything what it says on, on the tin so to speak, especially for the annex we had to go through planning and they sorted all that out basically um, and it's from starting works to finish basically and they just hand you the keys over and, and job done isn't it. As both projects are turnkey, everything from the foundations through to the internal fit out is included in the final price. The annex is costing £59,400. The extension will be £21,900, making a total of £81,300. And as the house costs £225,000, for just over £300,000, they've bagged themselves two independent living spaces where they can be together without being under each other's feet. This is something that I think we're going to see an awful lot more of, parents living in the back garden in houses. How do you think it's going to work? Well, I think we, we do clash some, uh, yeah, quite a lot, so it's going to be interesting right. at some point, I'm sure. But that's one of the reasons why we wanted to have it separate from the house as opposed to having it attached. And I think yeah. it's something that you'll look back and I go, gosh, why didn't we do this sooner? Yeah. Yeah. With the order placed for Jenny and Shane's double flat packs, the kit company are on site to lay the foundations for the annex. Because of the unstable soft clay soil, they're using screw pile foundations. Invented in the 1830s to support lighthouses, these are a much quicker option than laying concrete foundations and need no excavation as they're simply screwed into the ground. With the groundworks in place, it's delivery day, as the prefabricated kit arrives for both the extension and the annex. The annex has shot up in just five days. The shell is up, the roof is on and the glazing is in, and they've made a start on the cedar cladding. Meanwhile, the extension takes seven days to reach the wind and watertight stage. Pretty impressive. And with three weeks to go until completion, I caught up with Shane and Jenny to see what they think of their individual flat packs. My goodness, this is a real hive of activity, isn't it? It is all going on here. I think this is the first time I've ever been to two flat packs going on simultaneously. Let's start with the extension first. Happy? Yeah, no, so far so good, yeah. Yeah, right, can we get inside and have yeah, a little look? Obviously. Great. Ooh, look at this thing, right. So your original kitchen's in here. Is this going to be the kitchen now? We're not quite made our mind up yet. Okay. If we want to knock through or whatever, but we're, we're undecided a bit really. But, uh, but you put new knits in here. Are you going to have yes. an oven? So this, yeah. this will then become your kitchen. And yeah. either you knock this wall down and turn it open plan, yeah. or you keep it and turn that into a dining room. Pretty much, yeah. yeah what brilliant. do you think your mum would think of this? She'd love it. <laughs> She'd absolutely love it. It really needed to be brought into the 21st century, yeah. the whole house, and that's what's happening. Oh, yeah. I and I was giving, getting great pleasure from Shane because I can see what he's doing. Yeah. And he's got his inheritance early, really, which is a pleasure. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's go and look at the biggest change. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's beautiful. I love the cladding. I think it works really well and it just, I think, blends, blends. perfectly. It blends perfectly with the two silver birches yeah. as well. I think it's fabulous. I really do. Shane and Jenny have managed to find a very convenient and cost-effective way of solving a problem that I think lots of families in the UK are now facing. And hopefully this solution will mean that they can live together but not get under each other's feet. The extension is being rendered and the annex is in its final stages. A team of decorators are beavering away, the kitchen is in and the second fix electrics are underway. Included in the fixed price for the annex is the running of all the services to the site, from the plumbing to the electric supply, which is just about to be connected up to the main house. And the good news is that Jenny's come up with a neat way of getting more light into her lounge area 
by inserting a glass panel in the entrance hall. Whoa! I mean, I know it's not finished, but gosh, you can really see the potential in here, can't you? Yeah, it's made a bit of difference. Yeah, <laughs> so you've opened it up, which is going to give you so much more space, isn't it? Hopefully you're going to have some sort of island here and then nice. table and chairs here Lovely. as well. So there's a proper eating, eating kitchen yeah. was the whole, like, whole idea, really. Bit different to when your mum had it, I guess, oh, wasn't very, it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you think it was a family home then as well, know, you know, yeah, how the did they manage? I know, it's incredible, isn't it? Right, let's go and have a look at the granny flat that hopefully We'll have some granny children in it one yes, of these days. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> in the space of just over a month, the end of Shane's garden has undergone quite a radical transformation and is now home to a striking cubed annex with the warm orange hues of the cedar cladding giving bags of texture and interest. It is a really impressive looking building. I think it sits so well on the plot. But are you pleased with the way that it looks? Yeah, I am, I, I am pleased with the way it looks, yeah, because yeah, I love wood. Yeah. Well, you, you've chosen the right house then, <laughs> haven't you? Let's go and have a look then. This is genius. This is perfect. It's made such a difference, hasn't it? When you're sitting down, you can look out into the garden and it's just going to flood it with light. And this compared to the last time I stood in this very spot, is like a different room. I think it's lovely. I think the only thing left to do now is road test your kettle and have a cup of tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and try and find where you put the mugs. Yeah. <laughs> On the way to the kitchen and off the hallway is Jenny's bedroom. Just four weeks ago, this was an empty shell, but now makes for a great little room with its own ensuite. The speed of which they have turned this around is impressive. The same goes for the kitchen. Jenny's upgraded the units, which was money well spent, and she's got a great view down the garden. What would you say to people that are maybe thinking about doing the same things? I'd definitely go and see one, 100%, and I'm glad we did, because it put your mind to rest, it did, didn't it? Did it yeah. Because um, the conception of people in Britain, I think, think it's going to be a shed down the bottom of the garden. Yeah. It's, they've moved on a little bit since, <laughs> since then. So. I think that's really important actually. I think it's very important to go and look at the company and then go and look at a build that they've already done and then sit down and look at exactly what you get for that price. Do you get door handles? Do you yeah. get light fittings? Do you get flooring? Is the kitchen included? Because yeah. I think that's where a lot of people fall down. Jenny and Shane have managed to find a solution to a problem that faces lots of families at the moment. All she can do now is sit back, enjoy it and wait for those grandchildren. <laughs>